Okay, we're going to start with the arm area here. Some people uh, will actually use like five minutes on the arm and hand area in a full body massage, but again, everybody's routine is a little bit different how much they're actually going to spend on these regions. So you can start by actually hand going up. It's called centipedial, going up towards the heart. Again, you can use more pressure going up towards the heart. And then less pressure actually coming back down, so you get that nice fluid flow with that then. So going up with more pressure. And then back down with a lot less pressure just to make sure that, okay? So another technique, you can actually hold the wrist, but with holding a wrist, be, be careful how, how much pressure you're actually using because people don't realize how much pressure they're using because it um, can actually um, be a little invasive, actually too much, okay? So just lightly hold that area, and then you can actually go up the arm, and then you can come back down and around. But some people actually go up, around, you can actually go all underneath the arm too then, okay? So up round, underneath then, all the way back down. Okay, next one, we're going to go, one hand's going to go down the arm, the other one's going to go up the arm. So you're going to go up, back down then. So again, you want to use more pressure going towards the heart, but every now and then you're going to have techniques that um, are not going to agree with that, but that's okay every now and then, okay? But again, it all depends on who you talk to about the belief um, with massage too, so just ask them those kind of questions. Okay, next one, we're going to actually bring up the forearm like this. And actually go down. And if you're performing it really hard, sometimes the fingers will actually open up when you're actually performing it. So um, just make sure it depends on what kind of pressure they want with this. You can also alter it going back and forth down this region then. And you can even hold the wrist and just one at a time then for this area too. So again, all depends on what kind of pressure they actually want with the techniques then. Okay, next one, I'm going to perform more of a shimmy it's called. So I'm going to actually hold here and actually hold here. Where just, I'm just going to go back and forth. You can actually go pretty fast you can even go faster than this if you can, but just again make sure it's not to the full range of motion when they have these jarring movements. So more of a jostling technique, so more of those kind of movement techniques then. So you can also just hold up the arm, just move it back and forth. But if somebody's self-conscious about their tricep region, about it wiggling a lot, um, don't use this technique then. So again, it all depends on what kind of what what they feel com more comfortable with then. Next one, we're actually going to go up, and we're coming back down, we're just going to give a little pull right at the wrist area. Going up, coming back down with lighter pressure again. Next one, we're actually going to go up, and we're coming back down, we're just going to give a little pull right at the wrist area. Going up, coming back down with lighter pressure again, and then kind of pull at the wrist area. Going up, and kind of pulling. Okay, next one. Remember how we went down here and up at the same time? but you can actually incorporate more of the chest area into it too if you want. So you can go up, more of the upper chest. So just not in the breast tissue area for this. Okay, next one, call it a ratchet technique. So you're actually gonna extend and slide up, okay? So if you have a person that wants a little bit more pressure and your body is not capable of giving more pressure, it's just actually performing more of a stretch and a massage all at the same time then. Okay, next one, you can actually rotate it like this, back and forth. You can go different parts of the arm, you can go in the pec region too for more pressure. And just be aware of where the arm is going just to make sure it doesn't hit you. But I'm going to go to the other side and actually demonstrate and go the other, other direction too then, okay? So you're actually going this way then. So you get a different kind of motion that then. And everybody's heard of a snake bite before. You can actually perform this on a massage and it still can be relaxing.